What's going on everyone? Coming to y'all with yet another review. This one is on a pickup actually. It is the Sunian uh, Mini Acoustic Guitar Pickup. Uh, packaging, pretty simple, straightforward. Just comes in this little box. It says Sunian Transducer Paste Pickup SP-1001. So I guess it's the Sunian SP-1001. Uh, other than that, the only information on here is a Hotmail account and a Facebook account. And then it says two ways of connecting, more convenient. If the pickup useful for you, welcome light up the star. <laughs> Any problem, welcome contact us, made in China. So a lot of broken English on that. Uh, you know, it is a, it's a Chinese made pickup and I don't have the volume turned on right now. Now when they say it has two methods of connecting, what they mean is you can either connect it with this little quarter inch jack that you attach to your strap button there. And I've chosen to do that using the clips they included with it. Or you can use this cable, which is a 1 8 inch jack to quarter inch jack cable. And either way, the uh, pickup itself has a plug for an 8 inch jack right there, so whichever method you want to use, you can use. I've chosen to use my own quarter inch jack as I feel like they usually give uh, better sound quality than uh, these thinner cables, these cheaper cables, and I don't currently have the volume turned on. Okay, so if you're not hearing anything, I wanted to go demo up what the guitar sounded like purely acoustically first. So there's with a pick and then for finger style. So that's the pure acoustic tone of this K leader. Now if I turn the volume all the way up, and I also have the volume all the way up on the amp, which is a Behringer Ultra Acoustic ACX 1800. I have the volume all the way up. I have every other tone, so your bass, your middle, your treble, everything set exactly to the middle. And I have the gain set to five, and uh, no reverb or any kind of effects. This is what we sound like plugged in. Start with a pick. finger style. So it is a little quiet. Like I said, the volume is all the way up on the pickup and all the way up in the amplifier. And I'm able to get volume out of it, make no mistake. Plug through a PA system, you can obviously get much more control and much more volume because you have so many more settings you can mess with. But it is a little on the quiet side, which is kind of to be expected with these stick-on transducers. Now, this is also an arch top guitar, and so it was a little bit more of a pain to get it affixed properly. Ideally, you'd want to get it somewhere closer to the bridge, and I tried mounting it here and here, and both times I was having issues getting the strings to pick up evenly, so my next thought was I'll mount it directly underneath the strings here in between the tailpiece and the bridge, but it's just slightly too thick to fit under here. So I had to settle for putting it in the tailpiece area and that gave me a pretty decent balance. Now, if you're doing this on a flat top guitar uh, or any flat top instrument like a, a violin, it'll probably be a lot uh, easier to get more volume out of it because you can mount it more closely with that issue. Arch tops, it's always a bit more of a pain because, well, the top is arched. And, you know, ideally, if you could somehow get it inside the F-hole and directly underneath the bridge here, like directly here, that would really be your best bet. But, you know, good luck doing so, considering that you can't really reach your hand too deep into these F-holes. Um, but again, I went with this method because it's just, for me, the, uh, the best way to get as much sound quality as possible, as opposed to the, you know, cheaper cable. This does work, make no mistake, it's just, it's not my preference. <laughs> Now, 
And honestly, for the 18 bucks I paid for this thing, I'm satisfied with it. Um, I'll bring this in a little bit so you can kind of see the pickup itself. There it is, very simple with a volume adjuster. And then again, there is your jack setup. And it does come with everything you would need to get it ready to go. No, it is a nice budget alternative. Does this sound as nice as some of the more expensive pickups? Obviously not. This isn't going to sound as good as like your Seymour Duncan sound hole pickups or your K and K mini pickups or anything like that. But it gives you an adequate tone, in my opinion, for the very little you're spending, and it's far better than some of the really cheap ones, the no-name ones that are like just the red and black plastic stick-on transducers with no controls or name brand whatsoever. I've had a few of those over the years. They suck. This is a lot better. And the adhesive is actually pretty strong on this. Now, like I said, I had it here and here at one point, and I was, was able to get that off without damaging the finish. So you don't have to worry about the adhesive damaging the finish on your guitar. And you can hear that. There is a lot of pickup there. It's just with this particular instrument, I find it to be a little quieter than what I may prefer. Let's do some capo play, see how it sounds on these upper frets. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, how about some flat picking? string separation in there as far as I'm concerned. So. you're paying it really isn't all too bad it does the job adequately enough and if you're wondering is this worth picking up uh, yeah if you're on a budget and you're looking for a cheap way to amplify a cheaper acoustic instrument then this is definitely the way to go now if you have something nicer if you have a you know a really nice guitar or a really nice ukulele or what have you and you want to amplify it I think it's worth investing more money in a better pickup but this does the job, and it does get you from point A to point B adequately well. Something I haven't tested yet is the harmonics. Yeah, I would definitely call that adequate. My quick review, overview, what have you, of the Sunyan SP1001 transducer paste pickup. <laughs> or mini pickup, as it says on the actual uh, pickup itself. These cheaper Chinese products, you know, they're, they're kind of all over the place. But it did what I wanted, to, wanted it to do. It amplified this cheap little K guitar. Without me having to invest too much money into it. And... That's honestly all I needed it to do. So, hopefully you found this review. <laughs> Forgot to 
turn the volume down before I set it closer to the amp. Hopefully you found this review uh, relatively informative and helpful. And, you know, if you're wondering, should I pick one up again, hopefully I've answered those questions. So until next time, peace and take care.